Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're going to be doing a quick little doodle of some flowers with colourful faces and this is just a very easy art that you can do if you're at home and a little bit bored or you've got some art block and you just want to get a little bit create creative. So for colours we're only going to be using two colours today, we're going to be using Burnt Sienna and some Payne's Grey. So here I have just a premix of them. This is the Payne's Grey and Burnt Sienna mixed together, and this is the Burnt Sienna on its own. So going first with the mix of Payne's Grey and Burnt Sienna, we're just going to be painting in little vases like so. And we're just going to be taking it down. I kind of want to do rounded vases, so as you reach the bottom, you're going to round out just like so and then taking a little bit more of the burnt sienna I'm going to be dabbing a little bit more onto the page Oops. and now going in just with the burnt sienna on its own and using quite a lot of pigment. I'm going to be picking some more up with my brush. We're going to be painting our second base. Going down and then rounding it at the bottom. I also have um, a line, a straight line going across because I'm quite bad at keeping things straight so I thought I would do a line just so that I can stay correct. And also with watercolours, because we don't use white, if you want a colour to get lighter and lighter, what I'm doing is I'm just using more and more water and less and less pigment. So as you can see here I'm using less pigment and I'm going to go in with even less pigment and add more water to my brush so that it is even lighter. Just like so. This is a very simple way just to get your brush and paints and just paint something today because I know what it's like when you're in your head about painting things and you just think there is no inspiration or you don't feel like picking up your brush. This is a great alternative, just something where you don't have to think about it too much. And what I'm going to do is just take a bit of water and I'm going to dip the point into the brush, dip the point into, you won't be able to see it on the lighter ones but you will be able to on the darker ones, it's just to add a little bit more of an aged look to the flower bases. So now that's all for the paint and we're now going to take a fine liner, I'm using a micron size one, you don't have to do this but you don't have to use this pen, you can use any pen. And we're just going to draw some simple flowers. So for our first flower, we're just going to draw two anemones, I believe they are called. So we're just going to have one flower coming up and another going the, in the opposite direction. And then we're just going to add a little bud to each side. And then we're just going to go up, squiggle, 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 down, up, squiggle, squiggle, down, up, and the same. And there you go. Maybe add some lines to the bottom and some little leaves. We're just going to repeat the same thing on the second flower 
you can maybe put a line through each of the leaves as well and some lines on the petals and there you have it your first flower so for the second one we're going to paint some leaves so we're just going to do one stem going upwards and we're just going to be doing a leaf shape like this just doing one line and then joining with a second parallel line like so and then you can also just add a line going through like so and then for our second flower we're going to do some lavenders so we're just going to do three little sticks like this lines and we're just going to be adding some buds don't make them so stuck together they can be in any order but just add a few more at the bottom than you do at the top only because lavenders are usually more dense at the bottom so I'm just doing tiny little circles like so and that's going to be our lavenders and then for our fourth flower we're going to be doing sort of like an upside down open daisy so we're going to be starting by doing upside down petal shapes in a half C and then we add a little circle at the top and then we'll be doing another one but small and this time we'll make it front facing and then don't forget to add some leaves like so there you go and then for our last flower we're going to be doing some I don't know what this one is called but we're just it's basically just a bunch of lines in a curvy shape with little balls on the top like so and we'll just be adding another one maybe a bit smaller and then some little leaves going downwards and there you have it I really hope you enjoyed today's very quick and easy tutorial this is great if you're just feeling a bit uninspired I really hope you enjoyed it please give this video a like and consider subscribing I post tutorials every week and I will see you in my next video